Hello all, welcome to QValidation.com. So in today's session, we will see how we can download and quickly set up the Maven build tool in our system, uh, especially in the Windows operating system for our Selenium scripting. Now before going into the setup, let's understand what is actually Maven. It, it um, simplifies your build process. Now what exactly is so let's see the theory part so it says that if, uh, apache maven so maven is from apache so it's a software project management and comprehension tool which is based on the co concept of the page object model okay and it's it basically manages your project's build and uh, it executes that and also it will give you the reporting at the end so it will be useful for the documentation purpose okay and also it helps to automatically download and uh, attach all your required library or the jar files for your uh, selenium scripting okay so what and all the library files you need for your selenium uh, automation scripting let's say that you want to deal with the excel sheet or else you want to have a cucumber bdd framework for that so you basically what you do in the manual process so you need you download all the jar files manually from the uh, website uh, respective website and you go to the project uh, structure uh, on eclipse or any kind of editor and then you manually add all the external jar files but whereas in maven you need to mention the dependencies in a uh, in a XML that is called as a pom.xml and inside that you will specify the libraries and their basic versions which version you want to download and what the maven basically does it downloads those um, libraries for you and it will keep you keep it on your system now oh, one more benefit of this if you are manually downloading the jar files and you want to transfer your script from one machine to another machine you need to send the jar files along with your project if you are doing it manually but whereas what maven does if you give with your project structure the pom.xml now if you Put it in another machine now depending on your pom.xml it will download all those uh, jar files for you so that you need not to worry about whether which version of the jar file the other system is using so that is one benefit of uh, your maven okay so let's get started with the basic configuration okay so open uh, the google.com and then type as uh, maven download okay and uh, it will navigate to you the download page of apache maven okay and then just scroll down and for windows operating system you can download this particular file or the zip file and extract it and keep it into your local drive okay so let me show you where i have downloaded the same file so i have downloaded somewhere here so let me show you the path okay i have extracted under this so make sure that your the apache maven file uh, or the folder should contain these many files because uh, uh, this uh, the path is more important thing because we need to set up certain environmental variables for this okay so so once you have downloaded extracted and kept it into your local drive the next thing you need to do you need to set up the environmental variables so for that let's open the environmental variable dialog for that there is a quick shortcut called as uh, the sysdm.cpl so type that into your start run command and then press enter so you will be seeing the system properties then go to the advanced tab and uh, then click on the environmental variables and here you have to update into the system variables that's the safer side so that any user on your system can have the environmental variable access to that okay so you need basically three variables to be set for this okay so the uh, i have already set for that so let me show you quickly so this will be your so the first variable you need to have the java underscore home 
and the path would be your java installation folder okay so uh, if you have uh, installed your eclipse uh, and you have executed certain selenium with java then you should have done that before if you didn't do that you can just uh, enter the variable name as java underscore home and then the path of the java installation that is the first thing you need to do and the second thing you need to set up a variable called as m2 underscore home okay and this would be your the apache extracted folder location okay and the same way the same path you need to have for another variable that is called as maven underscore home okay so some documents say that maven underscore home and some says that the m2 underscore home would do the same thing but to be on the safer side let's uh, um, put the variables uh, both the variables in our environmental or the system variables okay so once you set up the java uh, underscore home m2 underscore home and maven underscore home the next thing you need to do that uh, m2 variable m2 variable is the bin folder if you would have seen the bin folder this will be my bin folder so let me open the my tools i have kept my tools okay so here you can see the bin folder okay either you can copy paste this particular uh, path and then keep it as we had already set up to the Mav, uh, apache maven folder i can just give that as a variable and then slash bin okay and the same thing copy it and we need to reuse in another variable that is called as path okay so the path variable already will be there in your uh, system variables click on somewhere and then press the end key and then put a semicolon and give that a, see here you can see that okay so semicolon then the m percent m2 underscore home or even you can have uh, maven underscore home m per, uh, percentage sorry and then slash bin okay now once you have done all this setup the next thing you need to check that your maven is installed properly or not so what you can do the command is mbn hyphen v okay so you can see if the maven is installed or not on your system with specific version number okay you can see the particular version number or the release version that you have downloaded and extracted and then it will give you the all the java home uh, we had set right and maven underscore home or the maven home and it will give you the architecture the your windows um, which operating system you are using there okay so that's all the basic setup i mean the download and the setup of the maven in the coming video sessions we will see how we can utilize the maven in our selenium script writing okay so that's all i had to show thank you for watching